Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter for 12 by 12 cardstock. So today I wanted to show you a simple cake topper, but it pulls everything together because I'm going to show you a few other things that come along with this whole theme. Um, and I really wanted to highlight beautiful paper. So let's get started. This is going to be a cake topper, a Miss to Misses. So I'll show you some tips on how, like, what you want to make sure that you have with the cake toppers, but I wanted to show you what else go comes along with this. So it's tying everything in. I designed this on Canva, so Canva is super easy to use. Um, so you can go there, but I have a matching, you know, little bottle of rosé. And so it's the same theme of like pinkish uh, rosé <laughs> gold, right? And then it goes along with this little candy box. So it's, you know, champagne jelly beans with a pink ribbon. So it's all going together. This cake topper is for like a two tier, one of those white naked uh, tiered cakes. So super simple, but everything is going to pull together. So I wanted to show you this because it's, you know, it's one little thing, but I kept the font the same on the sticker label to the cake topper. So it's just something to think about when you're, um, doing party decor that you can tie everything in and even something as simple as just three layers of cardstock can totally make the cake and make the whole party decor. So let's talk about the paper that you see here. I know, I because I have a camera on the side showing what, what you guys are seeing, and I know it's shimmering right now. So I want to talk about the cardstock because it's just gorgeous. Um, okay, so this top layer is a rose foil. It's rose gold foil by Basil, a Basil Bas Basics paper. So it's this. I mean, how you know it's really good is because look at it has the protective cover on it but you can see my reflection in there right you can see my face my watch right there it's just gorgeous and then let me get the let's see the gold behind it has a lot of detail to it it's got it almost looks like gold sheets if you you know like with the with the intricate details on there. That is AC cardstock and it's linen, metallic gold linen. And then the last one is just a simple, but still beautiful, just a pink basil paper on here. It's regular cardstock. Um, and I don't have the color. Give me one second, I'm gonna go grab it. And I think maybe you'll be able to see more of this gold that I'm talking about, the, the little lines and the details. It really just makes it stand out. So I think that's a good, a good look there. And then here again is, this one doesn't have the protective paper. I mean, look at how well you can see my, my reflection on there. You can see my mouth moving. I mean, it's just gorgeous paper. Okay, this is the paper that I'm talking about here is um, yeah, it's basil and it's blossom. It's just a beautiful color. All right, great complimentary color. Okay, so one of the tips to making a cake topper sturdy is that you want everything to kind of connect. In this case, it's not as important because we have two layers behind it. So this is going to make it, once we stick our um, wooden dowel or a paper straw on there, um, it will see, I mean, you can see the paper is stable, so it won't, you know, topple over. Um, but the front, the top, the topmost piece, if everything is almost connected, so what I'm missing is the little dot on the eye, but everything else connects. So if you see my M from Miss connects to the Misses, and then the ISS connects to the TO, and then the T connects to the M. It just makes it simp more, it just makes it easier for you to actually attach it and it's less pieces to lose and to just make sure that it's all even. Oh my gosh, look at that gold. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to tilt it so you can see it and I will take pictures outside so you can see how beautiful it is, but I absolutely love it. All right. I think everything is almost thick enough to put foam tape on. So I always like to layer, um, 
layer in in just the number of sheets that I use. So in this case, it's three layers, but I also like to add the foam tape to add the depth in between the layers. So let's do that first. Let's do it on this one. So I'm gonna flip this over and it is on the delicate side, but look, it's all attached. You just wanna make sure you're you know more careful with it. All right, so I'm gonna put down some foam tape and I'm gonna put it where it's thick and I can um, hide my foam tape. On this top layer, um, you know, you gotta set your expectations. Some of it is super thin. So my expectation on here is that we layer where we can. And if it's not even and if it's not totally popping, it's okay because the gold layer will be layered. We'll make sure that it pops up because it's thick and we can make sure that it's super even and, um, and popping out. All right, so let's get that there. I think I can add a few more pieces. And I'm gonna try to cut a little, I'm gonna cut two pieces in half, or one piece in half. And then, try to get a piece right here to make it a little bit more stable and a piece right here. And I think that's gonna be good. Oops, I already got that one off. Now the little dot on the eye is not gonna be layered. It's just gonna sit flat because it's so thin. I don't really think I can do anything with it. I'm gonna move this one over here and then I really wanna press down on this. So I'm gonna put this down. And look how pretty it's, it, gosh, it just shimmers. It's so beautiful. And then we're gonna put this little dot on. So when I, um, when the pieces are too thin, I do like to use my Tombow um, monohesive glue, which I thought I had it out. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Okay, give me a second. We'll have to go, <laughs> oh my gosh. I promise you I pulled it out before I hit record and now I'm losing my, mind. oh here it is. <laughs> All right, so I love using this because you can refill it. Um, you pop down the little lid so this is always gonna be at the bottom. And then I always like to have a little bit of scratch paper. And what you wanna do is, just so that you don't get the glue onto your mat, onto your work table. So you're gonna flip it from behind and then, and this piece is so small, I know. I'm gonna try to put it down and get some glue on there. Okay, good, got it on there. And, gonna put it down all right so that's down so pretty okay this one we're gonna flip over and because the first layer didn't get a lot of um, lift we can do a double layer of glue here or tape so what I mean by that is we'll do our first layer here and then we'll double up when we're gonna make it doubly thick <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on like that that should be good because it's balanced um, okay so we'll take this off and then we'll add another layer and then I have a tip for you on how to put the wooden dowel on to make sure that it is always straight okay so that's down all you do is you put the next layer right on top so it's gonna really stand out from the back. And I love doing layers. 
I do that for all my projects, whether it's a cake topper, a banner, um, any kind of sign. I always have the multiple layers, but and also still with the multiple layers because it can sit really flat. And I know that's personal preference, um, but for me, I definitely do like having the a distance between the layers as well. And I find that it just pops out a little bit more. Um, you know, it's more dimensional. It just um, for me, I, I, I really like that look. So you'll have to prove me wrong if you like it more flat. I want to see examples. <laughs> you can tag me and say, see, it still looks good. <laughs> All right. So um, this is the double layer here. We're going to put it on. And I just love having an offset. You know, it's easier to read. It stands out. And I'm pressing it down. And so you can see what that looks like here. And so you really get just like, it's just easy to read from a distance. It looks really nice. You get all the different colors. I really love this with the theme because I feel like it all ties together. It's simple, but you've got a whole look and it just looks like one big package, right? Okay, let's talk about the wooden dowel and then that's it to this thing. Now I, this is totally off topic because it's it's a cupcake topper, but I just wanted to show you how these plastic, or I'm sorry, the paper straws work really well as a cake topper um, piece. So you don't always have to do like an acrylic one or the wooden dowel. You can use these paper straws and they would go really well. In fact, I have one on order because I thought, oh my gosh, how cute would it be to have one of those, like a pale pink straw or a gold one with the with the stripes like this and then a, like a little bow. So I almost don't even want to put the wooden dowel on this one because I want it to match with my other one. But anyway, I, I will. Um, so I just wanted to show you this. Okay, now my other tip for how to make this straight is I would say that the word two right here is my my straight line that because this is kind of bouncy and it's tilted but the word two is kind of straight so if this is straight what i want to do is i want to flip it over and for this one what we can do is we can use this i'm going to use this envelope that just happened to be there so this is the word two i'm going to flip it over and i'm going to line up my envelope with a line here so then this tells me that the word two is straight, okay? So now that I have this as a straight, it's on my grid, right? Then I can get my wooden dowel, which again, I thought I pulled out, my goodness. <laughs> um, here we go. So this is straight. So what I wanna do is I wanna line up my wooden dowel with a straight line as well, so that I know when I put this in the cake, the word two will be um, horizontal, and straight and the rest is going to be kind of you know bounce lettering like like we had intended so what we can do is we can put it right here this wooden dowel will go straight through here it's going to touch a little bit in that opening or it doesn't have to i'm going to actually put it on the side so my dowel will be straight it's got a straight line up here it's going to really support my cake my cake topper because it's it's in the middle and it's covering this top line and this bottom line. And all I'm gonna do is grab my glue gun and run a line down and let it dry and then run it down over here. What I'm gonna do after, and I wanna make sure this is straight, so I'm gonna hold it like that. What I'll do after is I'll cut another one of this and it'll sit on top so it hides all the glue. But this dries really quickly and look. And you can see, I mean, it's so cute. So it's gonna go in like this. So it'll go in straight, the word two is straight, this will be kind of slanted. And then look at, it. it totally goes with this. I'm gonna put that down and see if I can get this over. Oh. I know with the lighting, it's kind of hard to see, but it totally, <laughs> hold on, I can make this work. 
so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. That's a tape dispenser that's holding it. And this. And it's all gonna, I mean, there's 13, 13 or 14 of these. It's gonna look so cute. But again, I just wanted to show you how it can be so simple, but now everything looks like one complete party package, right? This was just three simple sheets of cardstock but beautiful cardstock. It totally makes a difference. You've got the shimmer, you've got the different color, but the same color balance because it's, you know, the, the rose for the foil and then a pale pink for the back with the with the gold matching throughout. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Let us know in the comments what else you wanna see. Um, I love doing complicated cake toppers as well. So if that's what you wanna see, let us know because I would love that challenge. Um, but sometimes simple is just as equally amazing. Oh. <laughs> wanted to make sure that was there. All right. Um, all right. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for following. See ya.